Hello, I'm Stan Stonecker with Hub Culture, and we're at Climate Week NYC, now in its fifth year here in beautiful, sunny New York. Joining me is Andrew Shapiro, who is the founder of Broadscale, a really incredible financial services and financial innovation VC company that's making connections between small companies and large companies in the clean energy space. That's right. That's Pretty right. good description. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we like to say that we're a new model of investment firm. I mean, we're facilitating uh, the investment of capital, but also the investment of resources. Because our whole idea here is that the key to unlocking progress in the energy sector, so cleaner energy, more efficiency, more innovation, uh, in energy and other natural resources, is really combining the entrepreneurial spirit, drive, and creativity of startups with the scale balance sheet and know-how that big companies have. So is it hard making that match, like finding the right company with the right big company and like deploying the capital to make sure that they actually succeed? It is hard. I mean, most big companies today have an interest in looking outside their fall, four walls mm -hmm. to find new business models, new technologies. So they're looking to invest externally, they're looking to partner, but especially in the energy space, there have been so many startups in the last, say, five years that a lot of them are kind of scratching their heads going, which of these companies is viable, which has real value, and which might be good partners for us. Yeah, and it's been a bit of a rocky road, especially in clean energy, where you've had some companies that had a lot of capital deployed into them and they haven't worked out. Yeah, we've I had some high profile flame outs in the sector. That's <laughs> yeah. absolutely true. On the other hand, just in the last six months, there have been some great success stories. Mm -hmm. So if you look at Tesla, mm -hmm. the electric vehicle company led by Elon yeah, Musk, stock, like, everybody's talking about it. It's just you know past $20 billion in market cap, which is unbelievable for a startup uh, mm -hmm. of any kind, but particularly in the automotive industry, right? Yeah. Um, you know, One of the key things most people don't know about Tesla is that they had three key partnerships with big corporate. So even though they were a disruptor and doing an entirely different business model with a pure EV, they're partnered with Daimler, mm -hmm. with Panasonic, and also with Toyota. And those partnerships, you know, those big companies put money into Tesla at a key point right before they went public, giving them so they were market doing the validation. Really before they yeah, went but public. They, but they're also helping one another because you get the kind of creative entrepreneurial culture that Tesla is bringing and new technology to these big companies that often couldn't do it themselves in terms of new innovation. And Tesla is getting the benefit of huge market uh, reach. Mm -hmm. So they're doing electric vehicles for the smart brand of Mercedes Daimler. They're doing some stuff for Toyota. They're using Panasonic's batteries and partnering with them on kind of new technology there. So there's a real ecosystem forming between big corporates and the best startups in the energy space. So how, do you, how does Broadscale fit into all of this in terms of the companies that you're focused on? What, what are you guys doing to actually drive this forward for other types of companies that you want to see? Succeed? So we have a, a formal network of companies that we work with that includes Duke Energy, the biggest utility in the US, General Electric, Johnson Controls, and National Grid, and then lots of other relationships with big corporates, as well as with VCs, entrepreneurs, banks, other service providers. And our role is to be kind of the aggregator, the clearinghouse, bringing together the entrepreneurial community and the corporate community to find that strategic fit. So you guys are sherping, sherping in these exactly. small companies. Somebody said, you know, we're like a, a high profile matchmaker. You know? <laughs> right. Um, and that's okay, uh, we'll take that. Um, trying to find the right fit between big corporates that are looking to innovate and succeed in new ways and startups that are looking to partner with the big guys to get to market, to get capital, and to get that know-how. So uh, what are the new technologies that Broadscale is excited about? Yeah, so there's really three areas we've been focused on. The whole revolution around distributed energy, particularly mm -hmm. solar, incredibly exciting, rooftop solar is growing so fast uh, and the big utilities are starting to realize that they got to pay attention to this yeah solar uh, city like on solar cities ipo went incredibly well uh, there's lots of other companies in the space that are following along and the cost of solar has just gone down dramatically 80 percent in the last five years and so it's really it's becoming economic due to drop another 80 percent in the near future it will likely do that and the business model innovation is really what's key so now solar providers like solar city will come to you and say we'll put solar on your roof for no money down and will guarantee you savings versus your utility bill. That's pretty attractive. You don't have to be, you know, dyed in the wool green to, to like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're also doing a lot around big data and energy. Uh, so looking at smart energy appliances, you know, people are learning about new companies like Nest, mm -hmm. which is the learning thermostat uh, launched by some folks from Apple. 
Uh, we're very excited about that space. And then all things related to modernizing the grid and the infrastructure of energy, because that's critical, particularly in the wake of things like Hurricane Sandy, where we realize, geez, we've got this you know, 21st century economy that's running on, in many ways, a 19th or 20th century infrastructure. Yeah, some of that infrastructure was 75 years old and dumb infrastructure. Some, it's some, some of it's older than 75 years. It doesn't communicate. It doesn't have all the expectations that we have for our other networks in life, IT and, and other communications networks that are two-way, that are smart that can route around faults and so on. So that's another big priority for the energy sector. All right, so that's so smart grid, distributed smart grid, energy. Distributed and, energy, a, and, a big focus on uh, clean and energy, energy, obviously, renewables. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, amazing. Well, it sounds like you got your hands full. We do. We're really busy uh, and, you know, always interested in meeting corporates and entrepreneurs who want to figure out ways to work more productively together. And, you know, it's kind of a triple win, right? It's a win for the startups because they really need the help getting to market in this space. It's a win for the big corporates who are looking to innovate in new ways and it's a win for society because the more we get these new solutions into the market, the more their benefits can accrue to everybody, businesses, individuals, etc. Got it. So making friends and uh, funding low carbon technology. That's what we're up to. What a great job. Broad scale group. You got it. <laughs> Very good. Broad scale. I'm Stan Sonic with Hub Culture at Climate Week NYC. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Stan. Cheers.